Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow semicircle uh, fully inscribed in this uh, right triangle ABC. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this point P is our point of uh, tangency and this uh, point O is the center of this uh, semicircle. And furthermore, uh, this uh, side length uh, AB is uh, 12 units and this uh, side uh, length uh, PC is uh, 8 units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, semicircle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And in this video, I am going to share with you two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. Let's recall this uh, two tangent theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point, uh, then they are congruent as you can see in this uh, diagram where this uh, line segment uh, O A is equal to O B. So therefore, in our case, uh, our this uh, line segment uh, A B is going to be equal to this uh, line segment uh, A P. That means both uh, sides are congruent. So therefore, if this side length is 12, this side length A P has got to be 12 units as well. And now we can see that this whole side length uh, AC is going to be 12 plus 8 is going to make uh, 20 units. And here's our next step. Uh, let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. We are interested in finding the value of this uh, side length uh, BC. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side our lowercase b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is we don't know a. I'm going to just put down a square. b in our case is 12. So this is going to become 12 square equal to c is 20 whole square. Now let's go ahead and subtract 144 from both sides. This is gone. So a square turns out to be 256. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. So therefore a turns out to be positive 16 since our side length must be a positive value. So thus our this uh, side length uh, B C turns out to be 16 units. And now let's recall this uh, Pythagorean uh, triplets. We could have used uh, this uh, Pythagorean triplets instead of uh, Pythagorean theorem to find the value of this uh, side uh, B C. If we multiply these Pythagorean triplets by 4, this is going to give us 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 4 is 20. Then according to this, if these sides are 20, 12, this has got to be 16. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect this point P with this center O. As you can see in this diagram, let's assume that this is our radius lowercase r. Then this is going to be our radius lowercase r as well. And now let's recall this uh, circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees, as you can see in this uh, diagram. So therefore, in our case, uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees because this uh, AC is our tangent line and this uh, OP is our radius. Now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OPC. We know that this uh, whole side length uh, BC is uh, 16 and this uh, BO is uh, R. So therefore uh, this side length uh, OC has got to be 16 minus uh, R. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find out the value of uh, lowercase r. 
And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call our this uh, longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we have a r square plus 8 square equal to 16 minus r whole square. So let's go ahead and take care of this thing. We got uh, r square plus uh, 64 equals to. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity. a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2ab plus b square. I'm going to apply it on the right hand side. So therefore we are going to get uh, 256 minus uh, 32 r plus uh, r square and here we can see this r square and this r square they are uh, gone and now let's go ahead and move this uh, negative 32 r on the left hand side and at the same time i'm going to move uh, this 64 on the right hand side as you can see in this uh, next step now let's divide both sides by 32 we cancel this thing out so therefore our radius r turns out to be 6 uh, units so therefore our this uh, radius r turns out to be 6 units and now let me show you the second method to calculate the radius r. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, alpha plus beta angle must be equal to 90 degrees. Let me go ahead and call this our angle alpha. And since this is our 90 degree angle, this angle has got to be angle beta. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, OPC. If this angle is alpha, this angle is 90 degrees, then this angle has got to be angle beta. Then we can see that uh, this uh, bigger right triangle uh, ABC and this uh, smaller right triangle uh, OPC are similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportions. Let's go ahead and write down this uh, ratio 12 divided by 16. Let me go ahead and write down 12 divided by 16 is going to be equal to this ratio of R and uh, 8. Let me go ahead and write down R divided by 8. And now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 8 to isolate uh, R. And we can see that this 8 and 8 is gone. So our this uh, radius r is going to be equal to, if we simplify this thing, uh, that is going to give us uh, 6. So therefore, we figured out this uh, radius uh, r by using this uh, similar triangles. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals 2 pi r square, where r uh, represents the radius. So therefore the area of this uh, yellow shaded semicircle is going to be pi times r in our case is 6. So I'm going to write down 6 whole square. And since we are dealing with the semicircle, we have to divide this thing by 2. So therefore that is going to give us 36 pi divided by 2 and that is going to be equal to 18 pi square units. So thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded semicircle turns out to be 18 pi square units and that is approximately equal to 56.55 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.